going to show you my basic daylight lighting setup for interiors with V-Ray. So first thing we need to do is set up V-Ray for test renderings. Go to render setup. Okay, make sure you have V-Ray assigned as your production renderer. And let's proceed with the settings. So first I want to enable the built-in frame buffer. Okay. Then I want to disable the anti-aliasing filter, we don't need it at the moment. Right, we can reduce the adaptive DMC sampler max subdivs for faster renderings, let's say 2. It's going to be more aliased, but it's going to be faster. And this is important one, the color mapping, we want to change it to exponential. Enable subpixel mapping and change the gamma to 2.2. Okay, we're also going to enable the indirect illumination and I'm going to use the radiance map with light cache. That's my favorite combo for interiors and exteriors, basically for everything I use, the radiance map and light cache. So for test renders we need to set up low quality settings. Okay, let's set the subdues to 30. Right, and for light cache, I'm going to use something like okay, 400. And we can increase the adaptive amount here in the DMC sampler to one, this will make it a bit faster and noisier, and increase the noise threshold to let's say 0.015. Let's make the bucket smaller. So that's the basic where I set up. And let's create a V-Ray camera for our render. Alright. Change the focal length of the camera as you wish. Doesn't really matter. And if we press render now, it's going to be completely black because we have absolutely no life in this scene. Okay, so let's create some lights. First, I'm going to hide the curtains so they don't get in the way of our sunlight. Right, let's go to the top view and create a V-Ray Sun. just click and drag like this and choose yes to adding V-Ray Sky Environment Map. Alright, let's move the sun up and see how that looks. Alright, let's reposition it slightly. Maybe like this. Okay, so the default setting for V-Ray camera shutter speed is 200. I've changed it to 30. So you might want to change that if you're getting dark results. Okay, I like this angle of the sun. Maybe a bit too much to the right. Okay, the sunlight looks alright now. But you can see that the objects appear to be floating in the air. There are some very weird blotches all over the place and it looks dirty and low quality. So this is happening because there is not enough light coming into the room for V-Ray to calculate the shadows easily. So we can help it by creating some V-Ray skylight portals. Select V-Ray light and go to your windows. OK, 
Okay, let's enable snap and create the VRI lights. Snap to the window frame and enable skylight portal for the light and make it simple. So the simple means and the simple option means that it's only letting light through one way. Since we don't care about what's happening outside the room, we're going to use simple for faster rendering. And let's create the lights for the rest of the windows. Now that we have the lights created, we want to position them in our window aisles. Right, so since they are facing the wrong way, we're going to use the mirror tool to flip them around on the Y axis. So you have two options here. For a bit more realistic results, you can position them right behind the window frame. Uh, this will make sure that the shadows are affected by the window frame, but it will take slightly longer to render. Or if you just want faster renders and don't care about super accurate shadows, you can position them in front of the window like this. I'm going to go with this option for now and let's see how it looks. And straight away you can notice that the scene is much cleaner. There are some nice shadows from the standing objects, they are not floating in there anymore. And all, all the ugly blotches are gone. So you can see these skylight portals can help a lot uh, in this kind of situation. Alright, let's unhide the curtains. and see how it looks with the curtains. I'm gonna create a translucent material for them first. So basically it's a very material with pretty light diffuse, maybe 230. And it's refractive. I'm gonna assign a fall of map here. I'm using fall of map instead of simple color because I want this center part or the parts that are facing us directly to be more transparent than the parts that are perpendicular to our viewing direction. So right now it's the wrong way around. Let's flip the colors. And using the curves, adjust the effect like this. So right now the center is a bit more transparent than the rest of the material. So that's what we're looking for. Let's enable effect shadows to get some nice transparent shadows. And change the IOR to 1.01. .01. So this will make sure the light or the image behind the curtain is not distorted. Alright, and finally let's give it some translucence by changing it to be right two-sided. And that's about it. Okay, let's assign and render. So you can notice straight away that the room is much darker. It takes a bit longer to render. And the ugly, dirty splotches are back and our nice shadows are gone. So that's because uh, the curtains are blocking the sunlight and the skylight. And this again makes, makes it too little light in the room to calculate accurately. So you have two options here. You can bump up your quality settings to insanely high values to get some cleaner results. Or you can go the easy way and simply exclude the curtains from the V-Ray skylights. That's what I'm going to do. So select one of the V-Ray skylights, click exclude and add the curtains to the exclude list. Make sure it's set to both. 
Let's do the same for the rest of the lights. And let's re-render. So the nice shadows are back, the blotches are gone. And that's pretty much the final setup for basic daylight. In my next video I'm going to show you how to add some artificial lights uh, for the table lamps, for the chandelier, but that's for the next video.